Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, Art, how about if I open this one up and say, hey, everybody, welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Would that be okay? Sure. You know, I've always wanted you to start one of these vlogs that way, and I can now check that off my bucket list. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because do you remember the movie The Bucket List with mm. Morgan Freeman and and I don't know who else? Right, somebody was dying. <laughs> <laughs> so I I'm not sure I ever saw that movie, but I got the idea. You know, maybe I saw the trailer so so often that I felt like I had seen the movie. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking recently about a bucket list. I don't have one. And I thought to myself, I really should have a bucket list. I mean, there's lots of things I want to do, and um, but nothing's pressing. And I thought having a bucket list would be a good thing. It would give me, um, you know, some goals, if you will, life goals. Hmm. What do you think? Well, you know, I once had sort of like a somewhat of a bucket list, which included uh, uh, visiting the... Great Wall of China. Oh, that's a good uh, one. Uh, and uh, although it would be impossible to, because of all the warring factions, maybe to even follow Marco Polo's uh, Silk Trail, whatever they called it. Wow, and yeah. Be, be kind of cool. The Silk Road, yeah. Okay, but, you know, <laughs> I don't care about that anymore. And also, Bucket List has the, the concept built into it that when you finish with your bucket list, if yeah, you could be so lucky... Okay. You kick the bucket. You kick the bucket. I mean, that's right. it. Right. Um, so I I have um, tons of goals, as you know. My philosophy is, uh, and I I live it, truly live it, is that I have a twenty five year rolling plan. Uh, so. Uh, sure. So every year you start your new twenty five year rolling plan. My new twenty five year uh, plan, and so there's still the there are tons of things I want to do. For for instance, okay. Uh, once we make this show a big success and probably turn it over to some showrunners and just have our name on the bottom like Merv Griffin has on Jeopardy and um, uh, the the puzzle show, yeah, uh, and it, it's there in perpetuity. Uh, I'd I'd like to earn an EGOT, uh, you know, Oscar, a Grammy, a Tony, oh. and the other thing. Okay, okay, uh, I, th some of them are... I think seriously, well, I think the whole. Well, Point okay. of a bucket list is something that's doable. It is doable. You see, I've got tw a 25-year rolling plan to accomplish them in. Okay? At 25 years, you could win a Grammy, yeah. Uh, well, no, produce. Okay. Oh, okay. To sing, unless unless they have a special category for the hard of hearing. Yeah. <laughs> you know. What? Uh, that's right. And, and thank you for helping me with that. Because I'm, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, looking at the, I'm looking at our video here, and I'm thinking... Uh, one of the things I'm going to put on my bucket list is to get my camera to stop making me look orange. I don't know why my color is changing, but anyway, what John, can I tell you? John, I have a feeling you've got a long life in front of you because as <laughs> long as that's one of your goals for the last two years. <laughs> it's never going to get fixed. <laughs> but, but coming back, uh, being uh, semi-serious as uh, we want to do from time to time, um, uh, do you have a bucket list? I don't. I don't have a bucket yeah, list. I mean, and, is and there something of, that you'd want to do? Uh, well, yeah, I, I think that it, look, I think a bucket list would be good for everybody. All right. I, everybody should have one, in other words. And they should be realistic goals. Uh, and I think a lot of people have them and they don't, they don't formalize them. For right. instance, I, I have friends who go traveling a lot. They travel, mm. you know, not so much during COVID, but they do love to travel. That's their bucket list. They can, you know, I want to go to Sheboygan next year. I want to go to London. I want to go. That's kind of a bucket list, you know, see places. Um, I don't know whether I'm just uh, bored or I don't have a lot of ambition, but I'm, uh, my bucket list is non-existent right now. And I thought I need to have something. You know, well, maybe I, you know, travel. Let's go back away. When I was much younger, yeah, uh, I had on my bucket list, uh, to visit each state at least once. Oh, that's and good. I've more than accomplished that, uh, maybe in some cases 20 or 30 times over, uh, having uh, run 
uh, national sales forces and things like that. Uh, but I never had the, the desire to, to visit every country in the world, for instance. But I did Some have maybe do, every continent. Right. Uh, and uh, so I would have Antarctica, South America. I think that's all I have left. Um, so, you know, those, those things I might, the Galapagos, if I were to yeah. make a bu book on this, probably would be on my list of things to do. Um, remember, uh, remember George Bush, uh, the first president, George Bush, his he had a, on his bucket list was to he had been a, a pilot during World War Two. Right. And I think at age 90 or 95, he jumped out of an airplane. He did it a, a couple of times. He did uh, like 80, yeah. 85, 90. Uh, and he had actually jumped out when he was a younger man, but it wasn't on purpose. Right. I mean, it, right. it wasn't because he chose to do it. The, <laughs> yeah. He got shot out of the air. But that's that's a good example of yeah. a bucket list for for uh, seniors, you know. And he certainly uh, did it, as you pointed out. Um, but I don't know. I think a bucket list ought to be something that you. Uh, it's an ambition, um, something you really would enjoy. Well, I, so to... I want to pose this to our audience. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, everybody has ordinary things like you know the Great Wall of China or something. That's not the most unusual thing in the world, but. Uh, maybe our audience can send in uh, maybe something that they think is they can do it anonymously uh, and we'll just threaten to review, reveal their name. But no, we won't do that. But send us an unusual thing that you'd like to do uh, over the next few years. I don't want to say before you die, because that's the implication of Buck of this. But before you die, is there something that you'd like to do that's really unusual that we can share with everybody else? Uh, so that would be yeah. It would be I, I listen. I could, me. I could use those suggestions, those ideas, but uh, but yeah, I think every and let us know if you think perhaps the bucket list is a good idea or a bad idea. I don't know. I can't see anything wrong with it, but maybe somebody will. And one of the things we're trying to do is we're trying to help all the bucket makers in the world because the bucket <laughs> they, they've had some hard times for the last well, year or two. That bucket uh, bucket sales went way down during the COVID they, crisis. They so you know, you're right. It'd be good to help the bucket makers. So buck up, the, and the bucket make a kickers. bucket list. Buckle up. Uh, what are there any other buck uh, buck Rogers? Whatever, whatever your <laughs> buck is. Okay, so get get off your bucking seat and go over to your computer and tell us what is on your bucket list or should be on everybody's bucket list. Good, good. And stay focused on the future. That's my advice. And for me, we'll it's for the, for the next 25 years. Yeah, for 25 years, one year at a time. One year we'll see time. you soon, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.